Your efforts are paying off, young wolf. It's time for another dive, and another hall of coral for the deputy commander. Assuming, of course, that you can prevent the Deep from drowning you like a rat. Not that I'm worried about your capacity to do so, especially when Sloane's fighting by your side. She's always been one to shoulder a burden so that others need not. That's something I understand all too well. After the Iron Lords fell, I alone remained to keep the torches lit, to hold the banner high, and honor those who died in the line of duty. It was a lonely path, one I walked for centuries without complaint. Now, a legion of my former enemies walks beside me. I had forgotten what such camaraderie could be like, and I suspect the same holds true for Sloane. Keep that in mind when the two of you are in the depths. There's no weapon more powerful than the soldier standing next to you. Your violence bears offerings, I accept them! Slay, be slain, thrive, drink, and let fill. In this strife, you are home. Stop, stop, enough! the backup, I could have saved myself the leg cramps. <sighs> Let's exfil. Get this back to the long girl. Yes, I like it. And hear what she's got for us. See? It grows on you. Talking with her must be a trip and a half. <laughs> it's a bit like wandering out into the dark. You're lost for a minute, but then your eyes adjust and you acclimate. Things normalize. One foot in front of the other. Funny how many things work like that. Ain't that the truth. Oh, hey there, Valis. Germain, or is it Dredge and Hope? No. <sighs> you know it's drifted these days. Has been for a long time. I was just speaking with the deputy commander. She's ready for you. How's she holding up? Sloane is a soldier, and that role has given her purpose. Hope. But she has been through a great ordeal. Her own personal dark age. Yeah. That's a bad hand to be dealt. Maybe this can wait. Unless you want to tip one back. Talk about the bad old days. <laughs> What is that? Motor oil? Battery acid? Hmm. Only one way to find out. You and I are among the oldest of our kind. Centuries we've orbited each other. Why now? Why not? Maybe another time. I think Kaido's actually mellowed that old wolf out a bit. Darkness. A promise of us. 
something more. Two halves of a whole. Long divided. A schism between them. Reunited. A glimpse beyond. To the beginning. The plan's working. It's getting easier for me to parse Asa's thoughts, like a picture coming into focus. Other things are a little harder for me to wrap my head around. When I first heard of Saladin's Iron War Beasts, I... didn't know what to think. We lost a lot of people in the Red War. The Empire took so much away from us, and now Saladin commands an Imperial Legion? They're the reason we had to fall back and regroup on Titan. Why I had to send fire teams down into the Arcology, never to return. Those guardians died under my orders. They paid for our foothold in blood. When the pyramids arrived, there was no way in hell I'd give it all up without a fight. This? This is nothing compared to what others sacrificed. Completing the mission is how I honor them. Just like Saladin honors the Iron Lords. No matter who he leads into battle against our enemies. Stay the course, Guardian. Once Asa and I are ready again, it's back into the depths for us. <laughs>